Sebastian is back, and today we'll be learning about the wavetable oscillator in Electrax. Yeah. It's basically re resynthesis, but you could resample like uh, another waveform, it'll change it right into a wavetable for you. You could cycle through it with the position knob, and I like to say that you should add, you know, a filter, you know, kind of color it a little bit. But uh, right now we're just going to look at the wavetable. And in a bit we'll look at how we can color the wavetable with filters and effects. So right now we got to... We got a little, little, little growl. And the thing is, you just go in here. These are my own personal wavetables, my own personal resampled uh, files. Uh, it'll re it'll auto tune what you picked, and it'll make a wavetable out of it. And uh, we'll put that and psychoacoustic. Now let's look at uh, our filters, how we could color the sound with a comb negative. And we'll add a little fuzz to it. So. So you can make some really good bass sounds, leads, plucks. You can make a lot of good stuff. I'll make a pluck right now before. So we'll go to filter. So, like I said before, you can make a lot of different, you know, things with just the wavetable OSC. A lot of people would probably just use the wavetable OSC over the virtual analog and sample. But uh, the sam what this what what differs this from the sample is the sample will play back the whole the whole wave the whole wave like as a sampler would, but the wavetable turns into a into a wave table where you, you could switch between different you know positions with the position knob my advice is just experiment uh, use a lot of FM with the wave tables because you get some really nice tones out of it, uh, but uh, I have to, I'm gonna leave. And uh, please rate, subscribe, comment, uh, ask some questions in the comments, and I'll answer them. Um, have a nice one.